Hi, I need you to repeat with me now. So, we're going to take this pulley into your non-working hand, mine is left, and I'm going to take a piece up to my shoulder. And this is freely to go for more or for less. This is just uh, not the exact amount of the tread you need. So I'm going to put this just around my neck and I'm going to get more tread and I'm going to make a knot here, two knots, so it's secure, sometimes even three, but very close to my neck. Now don't hurt yourself as well, just make uh, one, two, and I'm going to make three knots. This is instead of the mouth method, but we're going to use our neck for that instead. So this piece, the smaller this piece is, the better because it's only going to confuse you. So as close to your neck as possible. And this is your piece here. Now I'm going to get a little bit more tread and I'm going to hold this pulley in my non-working hand, my left hand, and I'm going to dive in with my working hand, with my right hand inside here. And I'm going to create those loops. I'm going to twist it about 10, 12 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can see that this hand, my left non-working hand holding this pulley, is not moving up and down while I do, I'm doing this. It's just holding this pulley, not moving, while I'm twisting the tread towards myself. So I have about 13 so your basic position for this method, same like the mouth method, this is just the alternative for when you're wearing the mask. Um, the base position is when you have those twists done up already up here and your hand holding that loop is actually your palm is facing down, it's like a little crab here. So the palm is always facing down. And the idea is that this neck piece is only going to be up to your chest, up to here. The idea is to pull this apart to create the tension between your hands and much less tension between this piece here, always. And only that way you will be able to create long and narrow piece that will be able to remove so many little hairs. So this is the long, long and narrow piece that will be able to remove all these hairs in the little lines. So that way you can remove nearly like half of the face lines all the time. And that removes so much more here than the um, normal, just the hand method. So there, it, this method is a little bit tricky. So I would need you to um, just watch this carefully and repeat a few times with me and then try it yourself. So what is tricky here? When you create those loops, when you're going to do treading, the treading is going to happen with your spine only. You're going to go down. Your hands are going to stay on the client position while pulling them apart for tension. And then you're going to leave your hands in that position without moving even one little millimeter and your neck is going to come up. So you probably heard that little um, sound that the tread made. I'm going to make it closer to you now here. So we're going to... Um, hold the thumb really close to the ending up here. My loop has to be 
as long, as narrow as possible. And I'm not holding it with the pinky. Sometimes I'm putting the whole hand inside. Sometimes I don't. I kind of feel it's working for me with the four fingers only inside. So to make your loop long and narrow, there is only one thing you should remember. And you need to practice it just to get a hang of it as well. So to make the loop long and narrow, what is the most um, um, common mistakes usually? When people are opening this too much, this is going to hurt you up here on all your fingers and probably on the last one in most. And this does not allow the loop to be long and narrow. So you will need to open it, but you only need to open it when you're holding this pulley up, slightly up, and when you're letting it loose up here. Can you see? Just it's slightly loose. I'm not putting it down. I'm just making it slightly loose. And then I'm going to open with my right hand. I'm going to open. And can you see? It allows it to open. So then we're going to go back to the position. So open back to the position and look how long and how narrow I can make it. But if you were to touch this, this is very, very loose. Look, this is very, very loose. And if you were to touch this, you nearly cannot bend this. So there is going to be a lot of tension between the hands. You're going to pull your hands apart. But the, this piece, your neck piece, has to be nearly loose. Now it still should be straight, but if I'm going to touch it, look, it's, it's very, very loose. And that way you can make it long and narrow. And look, I'm holding my fingers all together and how the treading is actually going to happen. Always holding it um, just straight. So this line is always straight and it's always has a lot of tension. I'm going to hold my thumb very close to this line as well. And remember that everything happens in this little triangle. So all the hair I'm going to catch in this little triangle up here. So I'm going to go down together with everything. The movement is from my spine only. My hands are going to stay in this position on the client's forehead or lip. Or chin and then I'm going to move my body up and I'm going to keep the hands in the same position so I'm going to just go up did you see this moved to the very small little loop so your treading is done what happens after I'm going to put my hand with this pulley up on the top here and I'm going to once everything is loose so you don't uh, cut your fingers anywhere. So when everything is loose, I'm going to open this up again and it opens freely now. And I'm going to bring it there again. Close and I'm, sometimes I have to press it on the skin a little bit while having the tension as well. So don't forget to have a huge tension to nearly breaking the thread. You need to break it a few times to understand what kind of tension it should be between the hands here. So once again, together with everything and my hands, from the spine movement, I'm going to go down on my client, push it on their skin, not too much, in the straight line, and I'm going to keep it there. With my body, I'm going to come up. And that's your treading done. Now in the real life, it's happening much quicker, like so. And that makes an impression that I'm doing it with my hands but I'm not doing it with my hands. In reality, I'm working with the spine. It's this movement. Down, up, down, up. So when I'm up, the treading is done already. All I need to do, just to put the left hand up, open this up and back to the straight position. 
onto the skin with the hands, body up. So I need you to practice this a couple of times until you get it right. <laughs> 